standard deviation and therefore would lie on the y-axis and the risky asset which is the market portfolio or the S&P 500 index is at this point here and so the possible set of allocations would lie on this line which is the capital allocation line and on this capital allocation line we will superimpose the utility function and uh, utility function may look something like this and the utility function intersects on these points say a and b uh, and the investor would would realize a certain level of utility in this indifference curve but if we push this utility function further out we observe an increase in utility for the investor and so points c and d would be preferred over points a and b and if we push this out even more we might have this indifference curve however this inter inference curve does not intersect the capital allocation line so we have to move a little bit in this direction and so that leads us to this particular indifference curve which is just tangent to the uh, capital allocation line and this point here describes the optimal allocation for this investor.